come see you. Six Reddit fan theories for how Netflix Marvel characters could return. Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Sprinter. Six. Colleen Wing, Iron Fist. One thing that many fans still want is a reprisal of the Iron Fist as it was presented in Iron Fist. Though the series had high viewership, it was negatively received, with fans and critics citing a poor performance by the lead Finn Jones and the White Savior story at the core of the characters. As such, many agree that there needs to be special care taken in bringing this character back. However, you ghost writer 8303 says there might be a simpler solution. Solution. Iron Fist series could in theory just continue from where it left off. At the end of season 2, Danny Rand was no longer the protagonist and Colleen Wing had become the new Iron Fist. Jessica Henwick as Colleen Wing was a shining light in Iron Fist, so fans would love to see her back and even better if she just becomes the new Iron Fist. Henwick, in fact, turned down the role of Shaolin and Shang-Chi at The Legend of the Ten Rings with the hope that she can come back as Colleen Wing soon. 5. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Iron Fist Should the MCU choose to revitalize Danny Rand as the one true immortal Iron Fist instead of Colleen Wing, they might want to take a page out of another character's book, especially now that he has access to the powerful Ten Rings. Shang-Chi is honestly everything that Iron Fist's Danny wishes he could be as a fighter. Nevertheless, many fans still hold out hope that the MCU Iron Fist can become as cool and respected as he is in the comics. Yu Pansexual Pastapot suggests having Shang-Chi cross paths with Danny have him teach Danny how to actually use the Iron Fist to its potential, make him a better hero, while Shang-Chi too will likely focus on the origins of the rings, possibly linking them to Kamala's Bengals in Ms. Marvel. As some theorize, it could still be the right place to reintroduce Iron Fist. 4. Heroes for Hire The benefit of bringing these characters back is that they can finally team up beyond the Defenders. Specifically, there's the Daughters of the Dragon with Colleen Wing from The Iron Fist and Misty Knight from Luke Cage. The Heroes for Hire with those shows titular heroes. The latter could be another great way to revitalize Danny Brand's Iron Fist. You Lord Vader 1138 theorizes only Iron Fist and Luke Cage didn't blip. They were only survivors from Defenders and to maintain some stability in chaos, they have formed the Heroes for Hire team to solve some crimes. This not only sounds like an exciting way to reintroduce these heroes, but a Disney Plus miniseries like this would also acknowledge their place in the larger MCU with a blip or other occurrences that they missed during their hiatus from TV. 3. Iron Punisher There was a lot of concern after it was announced that these shows would be moving to Disney Plus given the amount of violence and blood in them, especially in The Punisher nevertheless. Moon Knight and Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness shortly continued with their special take on action and gore. It will be interesting to see how Punisher will operate under these new parameters, whether in a third season of his show or if he shows up elsewhere. Many fans are eager to see him next and have theorized when he might arrive. You Lanky God says, I see Armor Wars being the most realistic because they can give him the Punisher War Machine suit, then eventually in another series bring him into Fisk-related stuff. Punisher would certainly add an unexpected edge to Armor Wars, and he could act as an antagonist to Rhodey like he did in Daredevil Season 2, though there are several other options for villains in Armor Wars. 2. Dark Avengers Thankfully, these shows had some of the best villains throughout all the MCU with David Tennant's Kilgrave. D'Onofrio's Kingpin and Wilson Bethel's Bullseye. The former will likely feature again in Daredevil Season 4 as an antagonist, though he could also appear elsewhere. Euphaluka writes, there are signs they are building up to a Dark Avengers, and if some, I really hope they bring him back as Bullseye was the team's Hawkeye. In fact, there are more than signs now, as 
Bonanza Thunderbolts film was recently announced. The Thunderbolts were the predecessors to the Dark Avengers. They were villains who reformed themselves into anti-heroes, whereas the Dark Avengers were villains posing as heroes. Bullseye is one of several viable candidates for such a team in Thunderbolts. 1. Hellcat and the Thunderbolts One of the most perplexing story arcs in the Netflix series was that of Trish Walker, aka Hellcat and Jessica Jones. She started out as her adoptive sister and best friend, but over the course of the three seasons, their relationship deteriorates. Trish gains powers but soon loses her sanity and Jessica is forced to get her sent away to the raft, the super prison featured in Captain America's Civil War. It would feel strange to not see Trish, so some fans theorized how she would be reintegrated. With you black butterfree thinking she gets recruited and trained by Sword in exchange for a reduced sentence and intensive therapy. This would make her similar to Ghost from Ant-Man and the Wasp, and could mean she is also part of the Thunderbolts, but most importantly, this could allow for Trish to really be featured as Hellcat. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.